Visiting Costa Brava is really an excellent way to unwind, relax, and take in some stunning coastal views. It has some great food, it has wonderful small seaside villages, great beaches. I can understand why it was named one of the top destinations in the world. Get off the highway and make your way to the coastal drive. The smaller roads not only take it to these really interesting places, but they're also really fun to drive. We're here in Tassa de Mar, and I've got to say, if you are driving Costa Brava or visiting Costa Brava, this is definitely one of the places that you have to come. It's a beautiful seaside village, has a lot of great hotels, and an absolutely gorgeous beach. Another great stop in Costa Brava is... Cecilia de Guicho. That's it. This is a town that's on the coast. It's beautiful, and it's known for this 10th century monastery that's right behind us. You can go in, give it a tour, and check out the museum that's in there as well. Just one of the great historic things that are along the drive here at Costa Brava. So we're here in the town of Port Legat, just outside of Kadak, and we're up on the northeastern tip of Costa Brava. And the highlight of this town is going to the Salvador Dali house, where Dali himself lived and decorated and designed it all himself. So make your reservations beforehand online and don't be stuck like us. Another thing that you have to do when you come here to Costa Brava is hike the coastal trail. This is just the best way to get the feel for the landscape. As you can see behind me, the, the views are absolutely stunning no matter where you go. Yeah, the coastal trail runs the entire Costa Brava coast. It's well marked and I suggest just staying in a city and do some day trips back and forth. 